Hi, I'm John Harold from Zytron. During the next three minutes, I'll be showing you how to install a basic Navigator RIP. We'll start by downloading the installer using the link that was either emailed to you or noted in the RIP package if one was shipped. If emailed, simply copy and paste the link into your browser. Note that the zip file containing the installer will start downloading. When it completes, select Open and drag the folder contents onto your desktop. Open that folder and look for Navigator Installer. Double click it and begin the process. If the Windows Protection screen comes up, simply click More Info and then Run Anyway. The installer will begin the process of uncompressing the installer application, which may take a few minutes. When the welcome screen appears, click Next. You'll then be asked to read the license agreement and click the box saying that you agree to the terms. Feel free to read the entire agreement before clicking Next. When the product selection window appears, you'll have a choice to install the RIP and workflow or just the RIP. In this session, we're only installing a RIP as if no workflow was purchased. Click the RIP only button, then click Next. Again, since we don't have a workflow, we're choosing standalone RIP. Click Next again. The next window will request your license key, known as an LDK. This key was likely emailed to you or appears on a license sheet in your RIP package if it was shipped. If emailed, simply copy and paste the key here. Type it manually if you have a license sheet. Click Next. If you need to change the installation directory, do it here. It's advisable to leave the location at the default. Click Next. If you want to change the program folder name, you can do it here. Click Next. The installer will give you a chance to go back and change the folder name and location in case you've made a mistake. If not, click Next one more time. This part may take a few minutes as all the relevant files are copied to your PC. When finished, the successful installation window will appear. Click the Finish button. Close the Navigator folder windows and note the Navigator icon on your desktop. Double click the icon and Navigator should launch. Note that the RIP Monitor window will display the LDK license that was entered during the installation process. You can also locate the serial number in this window, which is important to know when calling support should you need assistance later. You can also retrieve this information by clicking the Windows icon on the lower left corner of your desktop and typing LDK. This will locate the LDK licensing tool that was installed with the RIP. Click the link and the LDK tool will launch. Click the Display Keys button. Now click the license entry shown. The lower part of the window will show every feature and option the RIP is licensed to use. That's it. Your RIP is installed and ready for configuration. We'll cover some of those points in other videos.